Right, hello and welcome to the 1997 BMW E36 M3, my favorite M3 out of all of them. And today we are going to finally see how good it is in Gran Turismo 7. So to do that, we are going to test this vehicle out stock, fully upgraded, as well as engine swap because we can actually do that now. So with that being said, let's just jump straight into it. So to get your hands on the BMW from 1997, well, you are going to need to head on over to your squad dealership and cough up 74,600 credits, which for a vehicle like this is not too shabby. So BMW M3 from 1997, for me, this was always a childhood dream car of mine. From all of the reviews, from everyone who's driven one, I have not seen people really complain but just fall in absolute love with the BMW M3. So I'm so glad we can actually test it out in Gran Turismo 7. So first things first, let us look at this vehicle and we gotta start off the right way with a sound check. So the sound that they gave the BMW M3 is honestly such a generic BMW sound compared to the other M series vehicles that we already have in the game. It does sound quite similar and quite generic but at the same time this is what the BMW sounds like. So with that being said when we actually experience it around the circuit we see they're coming up to the first corner we are traveling at about 150 kilometers per hour before we need to break to make it around the first corner. Now that acceleration is not too shabby for a vehicle from the late 90s. Now what I love about this vehicle is with it having over 300 horsepower coming in at a weight of 1460 kgs. The vehicle isn't that heavy, it has decent power and with the BM France engine rear wheel drive it just allows you to have a lot of fun. Because we see with the BMW it allows you to go sideways, it allows you to grip up and it just allows you to have an absolute blast depending on your mood. It, the car tailors around you. Now the thing is with it being in a standard form around Kyoto Driving Park I was averaging lap times around the 2 minute mark. But something you also do need to watch out for is with the new physics model you do need to pay attention when driving a vehicle like this. Because if you aren't careful you will find yourself facing the wrong direction. So the BMW M3 in its standard form it is good it's fun but this is not the best that this M3 can be. What I would recommend you to do is head on over to the tuning shop and fully upgrade this vehicle. So once you head on over to the tuning shop and start throwing in quite a lot of money and buying every single part under the sun, well then you are going to be left with a vehicle that is rather lightweight and produces a decent amount of power. So now the vehicle we see it produces 505 brake horsepower with a total weight of 1138 kg so we see it doesn't really gain that much power just under 200 horsepower has been added to this vehicle it does still remain naturally aspirated but we do see we remove over 300 kg from the vehicle making it a lot more lightweight and with it being so lightweight there's only one livery that we should apply to this vehicle but in order to do that well we need to now head on over to GT Auto so when we head on over to GT Auto to see what visual upgrades we can apply to this vehicle well we see that we have a wide body kit for 25,000 credits and all it really does is stretch out the fenders from there we see we have two options for front splitter, we have two options for side skirts, but with me not really seeing what type A really does compared to the standard version, if you know let me know in the comment section down below. And for the rear diffuser we have one option and for the rear wing, well we have a wingless option type a type b as well as a custom wing option so you can really style or spice up your bmw m3 and also we have three options for your different grills so we have fog light covers headlight covers as well as just a different grill altogether so 
With that being said, as I said, there was only one livery I could apply to this vehicle, and that was the Lightweight M3, a limited edition of just a stripped down M3. And considering the fact that that is exactly what this build is, well, it's only right. So now, with this vehicle, we have to start it off right once again with a sound check. So let's just listen to it quickly. So we yeah, there is a big difference between this and the standard vehicle because this we can yeah it just revs a lot faster, it just sounds a lot more raspy and just a lot more aggressive, which is perfect because that's exactly how this vehicle feels now with it being fully upgraded. The vehicle travels up to almost 200 km per hour with absolute ease before we hit the first corner. Then you need to slam on the brakes and you are gonna notice the tail is a lot more happy now. Which means you also need to watch out for the vehicle wanting to bite back, be a bit more aggressive, want to just be in control. But no, you can't let it, you need to be in control and be just understanding of what the vehicle wants and what you want it to do. The vehicle, what I find amazing is the fact that it revs over 8000 RPM. It just, if you jump into the interior cam and you have the vehicle fully upgraded, you will see that rev needle being in the red zone the entire time, which I love. It just shows you how high revving the BMW M3 can be. This vehicle, I was seeing lap times averaging the 1 minute 38 second mark. Well, averaging the 1 minute 38, 1 minute 37 second mark, which is quite fantastic considering a vehicle is only coming in at a performance rating of just over 700 performance points this vehicle is so fantastic it's so much fun and my ideal spec is it right here but let's say this isn't enough for you you want more well you can get more by heading back on over to gt auto and engine swapping this vehicle so for spending 300 000 credits you can purchase the engine from the zabaru brz drift car which is an ls7 that is turbocharged and can produce upwards of 1200 horsepower so once you apply that head back out onto the circuit and see how much of a difference this engine actually makes now we see that the bmw m3 travels over 320 kilometers per hour before it needs to slam on the brakes to make it around the first corner and now this is the part that might surprise you because it surprised me the braking system is able to keep up with this vehicle's performance. Now, yes, I did upgrade the rear wing as well as the front splitter to just give the vehicle a lot more downforce and keep it planted because that's exactly what it needed. But when I tell you, this vehicle became an absolute beast because it will literally try to bite you back. It's actively looking for you to slip up to put you into a barrier. So. When I tell you, it is the most rewarding feeling to complete a lap of a circuit with this vehicle in its current state being fully maxed out, max race, max downforce, racing soft tires, maxed over 1000 horsepower. This vehicle is extremely rapid and it is such a rewarding feeling once you are able to actually conquer it and get it to listen to you. Because if you have any doubts or any hesitation the vehicle will bite back and you will find yourself in barrier the bmw m3 being fully upgraded we can now see it set lap times around the 1 minute 33 second mark there are around the 1 minute 32 second mark which is absolutely phenomenal and we see that this is now a very competitive vehicle but a skill to actually get right so if you think you have the skill for it try the vehicle out i highly recommend it i want to hear your thoughts and opinions of this vehicle in the comment section now with the vehicle having the ls7 in it it isn't really going to be the best for money grinding because when it comes to fuel economy a massive ls7 v8 is not the most economical so with that being said i don't really see this being a real go-to for money grinding but if you are looking for a real track weapon 
or just to experience something that you don't really find in other m trees you need to try this vehicle out and with all this being said i will catch you guys in the next grand Turismo 7 video peace